Yo, what's up guys, this is Yusuf Sher from TechDroids and let's cut to the chase. AMD Ryzen vs Intel Coffee Lake in late 2017. What should you go for and should you wait for Intel Coffee Lake? Now, Coffee Lake lately has been getting a lot of hype with leaked benchmarks and leaked gaming performance, leaked multi-threaded performance, groundbreaking improvements in terms of power efficiency, multi-threaded use and all that good stuff. But there's also a lot of positive and also a lot of negative to Coffee Lake. You know, also the new motherboard thing, the price increase. So in this video, we're going to be talking about which is the better one for you, AMD Ryzen or Intel Coffee Lake. Now, this video hasn't been paid by either Intel or AMD. So watch till the end and you'll have your answer. You're going to discuss the pros and cons of going with each side, Intel or AMD, and which suits you better. Which should you go for and should you even wait for Coffee Lake? Let's get started. Starting off with both the brands with their lineup. So starting off with Ryzen, you have Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Ryzen Threadripper and also the cheap Athlons which AMD released recently. So you have five options. Starting off with Ryzen 3, it is a sub $150 CPU. So it is for the gamers who want really good performance, who want multi-threaded performance but don't want to spend a lot of money and want something cheap which will give them really good performance. You can go up to Ryzen 5 which will retail for 150 bucks to you know 230 dollars so still staying in the budget not spending a lot but getting like groundbreaking multi-threaded performance with you know eight threads and four cores 12 threads and six cores now if you are not satisfied with that you have Ryzen 7 for the enthusiast gamers you know like for people who really want that performance 1440p gaming 4k gaming live streaming and high-end video editing and if you're even not satisfied with that, you have Ryzen Threadripper, which is going to break all the performance numbers. It's going to be on top of everything, but it's also way more expensive. And Threadripper is nowhere in the scene right now with Coffee Lake. But yeah, with Extreme Edition CPUs from Intel down the line, Coffee Lake and Threadripper will have a clash. So Threadripper, let's not talk about that because the CPUs are like 799 999 and they're not for the average gamer. Now coming to those cheap Athlons, they're in competition with the G4560 Pentiums and you know the you know beginner i3 series. So you are having a lot of options with AMD. They're way cheaper and pros of AMD are the motherboards are cheaper, you're getting universal overclocking everywhere so you can get extra performance. And the CPUs you know themselves are very cheap. You're getting a lot of cores, really good multi-threaded performance, not groundbreaking gaming performance, but they're pretty decent and are head-to-head -head with current Intel chips and overall price to performance and bang for your buck is there with AMD. Now let's move to Intel Coffee Lake. So i3s, i5s, i7, you have the Core M's and Core Pro V series CPUs which are not for desktops and also you might get like a Coffee Lake Pentium which is not leaked or rumored and it's not even in the scene right now. So i3s you'll have 4 cores, 4 threads, i5s you have 6 cores, 6 threads, i7s you have 6 core, 12 threads so you'll be getting overclocking in you know one of the CPUs in each range you're gonna get like you know multi-threaded performance increase everywhere better igpus but let's come to the cons of intel coffee lake new motherboards which are going to be expensive cpus themselves are going to be expensive for the i3 8350k you're paying about 200 dollars which is like 20 or 30 dollars more than last year's i3 7350k and when you move on to the i7 8700k it's 400 dollars which is way more expensive than the i7 7700k so in my opinion intel is not going to be the best priced performance when it comes to getting a new CPU for your build. And also comparing them head to head right now, my personal opinions are go with AMD if you don't want to spend a lot of money, if you're on a budget, if you want really good performance, editing, multi-threaded is your you know purpose. Gaming also is a thing on AMD Ryzen, but I won't talk about like, you know, groundbreaking gaming performance on Ryzen because it's not there. It's there, it's decent, and it's good enough for the average gamer. Now, if you're wondering, is Intel Coffee Lake going to be groundbreaking? Is it going to bring, you know, the best ever performance to the table? No, it's not going to be like that. Maybe down the line, after three or four years, you're going to get like five, ten percent more compared to AMD Ryzen right now. So down the line, it might be better, but you can anyways upgrade from Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 still staying on the same motherboard. So I see no point there. And also AM4 socket type will be supported for a long time. Now you can see KB Lakes, you know, H110, B250 and also XZ270 was not supported by Intel for long. They've changed and you need new motherboards for Coffee Lake. But AMD is going to be supporting this thing for like 2020. So you have a lot of headroom, you have a lot of time to upgrade and you're not spending more than, you know, what you will spend on Intel. So that's my take on it. That's been it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope it was helpful. Go with AMD right now. 
that's my opinion when intel coffee lake comes out i'll make an updated video maybe my opinions will change but that's at that time right now go with amd that's it thanks a lot for watching give this video a like drop a comment down below because all of you are you know as good as me there you're all tech experts and you know more than me maybe in some aspects so yep let me know all your knowledge and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace